So, something that some people may have noticed working in Game Maker Studio, if you decide to use not 100, uh, the random function, you're going to notice that show message um, random of, let's go to 100. That's not 10, 100, that's 10. Eh, let's make this five uh, random numbers instead of 10 to make this go a little faster. If you were to do something like this, if you were to get a couple of random numbers in Game Maker Studio every time, Let's see, this is 15, 8, 70, 42, 65. If you were to do this over and over, I'm going to go and um, run this a couple times. You're going to notice this looks familiar. 15, 8, 70, 42, 65. You're going to be getting the same output of random numbers every single time. So that kind of breaks the concept of randomness. And I'm going to stop doing that now because I think you get the point. This is overwhelmingly useless if you're looking for true randomness. And the reason that it does this is different from uh, the random function, at least part of it, is somewhat different from what it was in previous versions of the Game Maker. If I were to say, let's comment this out, if I were to say show message random get seed, and uh, this is just a little creative event of a room, it's just an example. If I were to do that, it's going to tell me zero. If I were to do it again, it's going to go and tell me zero. And the reason for this um, that every single set of random numbers is the same every single time is because the seed that Game Maker Studio uses to generate your random numbers at the beginning of every game is the same every single time. In previous versions of Game Maker, I'm actually going to go over here and open up a blank 8.1 project file and uh, copy and paste this code. I'm not exactly sure where it pulled it from. Um, I would assume that, uh, if I can find what I'm looking for here, I have too many windows open. I would assume that, um, Let's go in here. Yeah, that looks about right. Uh, the game pulls it from like the Windows random function or something like that. Or an operating system. It asks the operating system for a random number. You can see that the seed is some different arbitrary enormous number every single time. And as a result, if I were to do this, uh, you would be getting a different set of random numbers every single time. So 36, 76, 7, 87, 73. Let's do that again. Uh, 93, 60, 19, 22, 93. I'm pretty sure that's different from uh, the first time I did this. Now, for those of you who don't know, I'm going to assume that this is a somewhat common knowledge. The word pops up a lot, but the seed is going to be the basis of the random number generation. Uh, nothing in computers is truly random except for maybe like the configuration of, a, I don't know, electrons in the power supply or something like that. And I don't think most people are going to be doing code to get like the... the I, never mind. You get the idea. The point of computers is that it does the same thing exactly the same way every time, no randomness. And as a result, any computer that has to do random operations has to use what is called a seed, as in up here, which it performs a bunch of like arbitrary and complicated mathematical operations on to get a stream of numbers that's uh, otherwise apparently random. And as you probably know, if you play games like Minecraft or other games that use seed-based procedural generation, and I will be posting a video about that about a half an hour after this one. Uh, you will know that if you enter the same seed every single time, you're going to get the same random number generation every single time. I hope I explained that well, because it's kind of weird to explain out loud. Maybe someday if we have quantum computers, we'll have like true randomness, but I think that's a little bit far away for uh, your average user somehow. Anyway, what you'd want to do if you want real randomness in Game Maker Studio, or at least uh, real close to randomness, I guess if you want to be uh, really technical, you'd say something like random... Um, random, there we go, set seed, and you take the seed, and this, whatever number you pass in here, would have to be something that's different every single time you run the game. And since we just showed that the random function isn't properly random in Game Maker Studio, you can't just set this to a random number, because then you're going to be getting a set of numbers that is going to be uh, still completely the same every time you run the game, because you're just taking the random number from a seed that's the exact same thing every time. So what I'd usually like to do, if I'm looking for uh, some better randomness in Game Maker Studio, uh, this isn't the perfect solution, but it usually works in most of uh, my situations. I'd say something like um, random set seed uh, to something like, how about, I don't know, the current second plus times current hour times current minute and so on, and you can keep going down all the like current date time related things uh, like current day, current month, current year because we can, we'll do that. And now you will see that every time I run the game <clears throat> let's see, come on run I'm going to be getting a different set of random numbers 
And let's do that again. Let's do that a couple times. And that is going to be 8, 78, 65, 66, 85. Pretty sure that's different from what it was before. 29, 10, 36, 37, 55. And you get the idea. It's going to be different every single time. Uh, if you wanted to, you could like draw this value on the screen. And I think I'm actually going to do that. Actually, no, I'm not going to draw it on the screen. I'm going to uh, show. That's not here. I suppose show a uh, show message of that. And I had the wrong thing copied to the clipboard. Perfect. You know what? Computer science, that's what. But anyhow, <clears throat> you will see that uh, the value of the C is going to be different every time. And, oh my god, I can't use the escape key to get out of the game now. I'm so used to that from GameMaker 8. But you can you can definitely see that the seed is different now, and it's generating different random numbers. So, that is just a short video I made here. <laughs> that sounded so stupid. So, that's just a short video on randomness in GameMaker Studio, and uh, I suppose lack thereof. It is something you want to be aware of. I don't know why they decided it was a good idea to use the exact same random seed every single time. Because for people who don't know this, who rely on random generation, which is going to be like a lot of games for like AI and stuff, that is going to make a lot of things not go the way that they're hoping for. I don't see why they couldn't have like implicitly done this or something similar to this at the beginning of every game when you uh, when you first launch it or something like that. I do hope it's going to be fixed in an update of Game Maker Studio. But for now, randomness, just be aware of this at the very least. And even if you decide not to set the seed to something arbitrary like this, um, at least be aware of it and like program around it if you can. If you use something like... There's a calculator on my desk. I will say, if you use something like random set... That's a not an underscore. Set seed to like something like date... Current... Date time... Like this. Um, if you do something like this, this has a degree of imprecision. I believe because um, that's not a comment that's going to give me a compile error. I believe because um, it converts it to a string first before uh, creating the seed out of it. And when you convert the current date time to a string, it rounds it off to two decimal places. And we could get into a conversation about how current date time works later. But um, let's just say that that isn't going to work. You can see that I'm getting the same pattern of random numbers every single time. Just don't do something like this. Do something more complicated and wacky and off the wall and multiplication and math and everything like this. Uh, something more like this. But that is all I have to say here. If you're interested in games like Minecraft and Starbound and Binding of Isaac 2 and other games that use seeds for generating your levels, um, I will be posting a video on that shortly as well. And uh, if it's posted by the time that you're watching this, click the little card in the corner of the video and that'll take you directly to it. Other than that, I hope you found this useful. Rate, comment, and subscribe. No, I don't really want to save changes. I watch most stuff I have uploaded. This looks like it. And I will see you all later.